psyched and happy to have the new offensive coordinator, Clint Kubiak, joining us. And I guess just overall, how, how has it been since you're – have you even set foot out of the building? Did they, did they lock you in? Have you been out at all in New Orleans? More or less, yeah. We've been, uh, we've been pretty dialed in, getting our staff together, getting our playbook together, meeting the players. Um, but I uh, have got out to, to a few times to get to eat and see the city, so it's been great. Tell me, yeah, go ahead, just, no, go, no, go ahead. Mike. I was just going to say, I mean, overall, you know, if, if you know, people are going to go, well, what's your what's your offense philosophy? What's your foundation? What you know, what what is your what's a Clint Kubiak offense? Yeah. Well, I think we just want to be grounded and run the football. We want to have a have an identity that we can run the ball versus eight man fronts, you know, and uh, that's something we're going to stress to our guys early in the off season and um, you know, building our play actions and building you know, moving the pocket off of that and uh, trying to be a really good team on first and second down. So that'll be kind of stuff we're, we're dialed in on here in phase one and phase two. And, Coach, that's what I was going to ask you. You know, I know you guys have been in the OTAs the last couple of weeks, and, you know, whether it's acclimation and, you know, classroom stuff coming as you build it. From a playbook standpoint, um, do you try to throw it all to them all at once as far as, like, over the summer, and then we kind of pull back once we get into training camp so I know what guys can understand, what guys feel comfortable with, and, and then even from you because it, 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 it's almost an evaluation standpoint. I know what you look like on film, but what do you look like on, on, on the field? That's what you've got to get a feel for as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, Coach Allen gives us a lot of meeting time, so we, are, we have the ability to give them a lot of information, see what they can retain, you know, and, uh, and yeah, try to probably throw a lot more than you would in a typical game plan so that, uh, you know, guys are familiar with some schemes you might try to pull up, you know, in week six, you know, so there's some retention going back into the spring. So we definitely are going to lo- load the guys up a lot mentally, and uh, um, that's that's a big part of this early process is, you know, figuring out how we're going to teach our system and the best ways to um, get our concepts taught and understood and when we're going to show the film and when we're going to get on the grass. So it's a... It's a fun part of the year right now, planning for that process. So I got a, 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 a fun thing for me and you. Give me a play, generic play. Just give me a play. I just want to see if I can pick up what you're teaching me. Yeah, trips right, 18 support. Support or or sport? Support. Support. Trips yeah. right, obviously we got that. We're running out of 11. So how do you – is it zebra for names? Is it 12 personnel? How do you distinct that um, from, from a personnel standpoint? I don't want to tell them. No, you don't have to. Generic. We're generic. We're generic. We're generic. You know, 11, 12, 21. Okay. And so from a personnel standpoint, that's normally how how, how we're getting it in. Um, And so from uh, trips right, I got that. And then the 18 support, that offensive line understands and knows exactly what that is. And whether it's a numbered system, everybody's able to check right away. Um, from a control standpoint, your quarterback, he comes up, he sees something. I don't like it. It, it, it's, uh, it looks like it's a strong safety blitz off the right side. Does he have – I mean, I've, uh, I'm assuming he has the, the, the right to audible right now. He can throw hot. What's the communication that you want him to be able to be able to pick up so he can give that other information to the offensive lineman as well as the receivers? Yeah. Well, you know, I think this time of year it's important that you start small and you kind of call it and haul it and, and get guys Oh, yeah, you just run it to run it to run it. You build on what checks can be, and then you get to know the quarterback more and get we get familiar with each other and what those checks could be. Um, so I think that's part of the, you know, relationship process between me and me and Derek. So, um, but we're going to we're gonna start small and get good at something first before we start going into, you know, the uh, – That's where you can be, though, at some advanced. point. Yeah, oh, that, yeah, yeah. you got to get there. Correct. Sure. Correct. Okay. No. And so that's. I'm. I'm just. I'm just trying to check yeah. it out, coach. That, no, that, that, that's all. It's a. It's a process for sure. And I think that is one thing you. You don't want to do. You don't want to get there and get. Uh, get too advanced too early. Let's get get our guys in there and get good at something and have an identity. And that's that's you got to get an identity first. So you got something to fall back on. What about Taysom? Taysom Hill and kind of you know not necessarily how you will use him, but, you know, having a having a, a tool in your offensive belt like a yeah. Taysom, you know, and it, it's sky's the limit, I would imagine. Yeah, I'm really excited to work to work with him. Obviously, I have a lot of respect for him as a player, um, having played against him, having seen him on film, and uh, I think that will be a, a fun part of the offseason as well is getting to work together with him. And Coach, now you got my blood just churning a little bit. You're talking about running the ball. As a former running back, that gets me excited a little bit now. I mean, uh, you know, just – when you, when you look at it from a philosophy standpoint, and I know it's hard here, but in this draft of the running backs, of the skilled players offensively, just talk about some of the 
the, the, the pluses. We'll go with the quarterbacks. We'll go with the quarterbacks that are in this draft. Some of the pluses that you see from those guys that potentially will be uh, round one, round two type guys. Yeah, well, I think probably the number one thing you'd be looking at is like how many games has the guy played? How many games has he started? What's his record? You know, the guy that probably get taken first overall tonight's played a lot of football, won a lot of football games. So I think is is he a winner? That's something that you, that you're looking for. Um, you know, the decision making, the timing, and accuracy. Those are the kind of three things we we spend a lot of time on as coaches. So uh, th those would be the, the probably the top four I'd be looking at: record, decision making, timing, accuracy, and how that would fit into what we do. You worked with Kirk Cousins, Russell Wilson, certainly Brock Purdy. Just curious as to the, and I know it's early, and, and you've known of him, but what skills does Derek Carr possess that you think can be advantageous, not in in a system, but your system? Yeah, well, I think Derek's a is a really good athlete. I think he's extremely accurate with the ball, and um, you know he's played a lot of football. And I, obviously, a huge part of me getting to come here was the, the chance to get to work with him, and I've. You know, I've, I've observed him from a long time, you know, just following the league. And I, he's a quarterback I have a lot of respect for. And just my short time with him has been really impressive. And number one, his, his intellect and what he can handle and what he can uh, carry upstairs. But just uh, those guys going out, throwing and catching right now, that he's he's in really good shape. You know, he's it's really important to him to be a great player. And it's really important to me and our coaches that, that we give him a, a successful system that he can have, you know, he can build some confidence in. I was curious, uh, San Fran finished first in the NFL as far as red zone, you know, TDs, 62, 67%, excuse me, also very strong on third down. I was just kind of curious as to, from a philosophical standpoint, what, what was it that, that made your offense so successful on, either on third down or really inside the 20? Yeah, I think uh, speaking first to the red zone, um, you know, it's it's not one thing. It's, it's, a, it's being able to run the ball down there, and that's having an identity – you know, getting to run the ball and, and having success there on base downs in the red zone so you're not getting into, you know, third and six from the six, third and ten from the ten. Those are tough downs. You want to try to avoid those. You want to score on your base downs. So I think that's something that Coach Shanahan uh, really harped on with those guys. As far as the third down, you know, uh, that's a whole other set of deals. But it's it's a team game, and we had a lot of really good players on offense, and uh, it all started with them having great protection up front, good decision-maker quarterback, and weapons on the outside. So... It's all about the players, and we as coaches just got to put an organized plan together for them. Mike, I don't have anything else with him. I mean, he's, he, it's 5 o'clock. He's drinking black coffee with a shot of espresso. That's my man. We good. We, 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 we good, baby. I don't have anything for him. All right. Well, welcome to New Orleans. Uh, all right, we appreciate it, and we look forward to working and talking more with you. And uh, have a great three days and get, get some players, man. Get some players that, that, that you want uh, right. for your team. Clint Kubiak, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys.